Let's start. The project name is the Recycler View Search View. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in the UI, we have activity underscore main XML, which is the layout of the main activity. And a row underscore item XML file, which defines the layout of the recycler view. In the menu folder, we have a toolbar underscore menu XML file. In this file, we have a menu item with a search icon. The action view class attribute is set to the search view widget, which makes this item act as a search view component. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main dot XML file, the constraint layout is the root layout. This is the toolbar. And this is the recycler view. In the row underscore item dot XML file, we have a text view. Let's see the Kotlin code now. This is the model class with a string variable name as the data member. This name variable will be shown in each row of the recycler view. These are the imports. This is my adapter class. This class implements the filterable interface, which will help us to filter the recycler view according to the text input by the user in the search view. These are the data members, which have three kinds of lists. The array list is used to populate the recycler view with some data. The temp list is used as temporary storage for the array list, on which we can do manipulations so that our original array list stays intact and clean. We will do all the operations on the temp list while the user types his input in the search view. And the third one is the filtered list, which contains the data from the recycler view, which matches with the user input from the search view. In the onCreateView holder function, we inflate the row underscore item XML file and pass that view into the view holder class. In the bind view holder function, we fetch the data from the model class, one by one, and show it in the text view. In the get item count function, we calculate the total number of rows in the recycler view. The get filter function returns the filtered result from the recycler view which matches with the user input from the search view. This is the filter object. In the perform filtering function, we accept the user input from the search view as a parameter. This is the filter results object, which stores the final result of the filter operation. First, we check if the user input is empty or not. If the user input is empty, we copy the temp list into the final results as it is. If the user has input some text in the search view then, first we empty the filtered list to make sure that it is now clear from the previous filter operations. Then we loop through the temp list to check if any item from this temp list matches the text input by the user. If we get any such item, we put it in the filtered list. And once the looping is done, we copy the filtered list into the final results. And then we return the results. The final results are fetched inside this publish results function. Here we copy the results into our array list, as we only use the array list to populate the recycler view. And then we notify the adapter that the data of the recycler view has been changed. This is the view holder class. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. In the onCreate function. First, we set up the toolbar. Then we created an object of my adapter class and passed the array list data in it using the get data function. Then we set the layout of the recycler view as linear. There are several types such as linear, horizontal, staggered, etc. Then we set the item animator and item decoration attributes of the recycler view. And finally, we set the adapter object into our recycler view. This is the get data function, which converts the data in an array format to an array list format. In the onCreate options menu function, we inflate the toolbar menu from the menu folder. Then we call the setup search view function. In this function, we set up different attributes of the search view of the toolbar. Here we set the maximum width of the search view equivalent to the toolbar. Then we set the search view hint text. Then we set the onQuery text listener of the search view. It has two functions, onQuery text submit and onQuery text change. In both functions, we call the filter function of the recycler view adapter, which checks if the user input text from the search view matches with any item in our recycler view or not. 
And finally, in the on back pressed function, we have written the code that closes the search view when the back button of the Android device is pressed. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement a recycler view search view filter in Kotlin Android. Thanks for watching.